that he's next to the comics. Two of my favorite people in the whole city. Um, they used to look exactly alike eight months ago, and then Frank cut his dreads off. <laughs> Can y'all make some noise? Can y'all make some noise for one of my favorite people in the city? Give it up for Frank Neblet. Yeah, Frank. Let's get it, Frank. Show these motherfuckers what it is. Come on. Next coming to the stage, also very funny. One of the, one of my favorite people in the city. That's all I can say about it, dude. She's a true gangster. She'll fucking stab you in your chest if you got problems with her. She's a dark artist. Yes. She loved the dark arts and not because she's dark skin. Give it up for Zoe Dixon. Let's get it, Zoe. Hell yeah, Zoe. That's very smart. Do we have a paper towel? Yeah, I'll wrap it up. Oh, funny. Okay. Uh, for what? I have the towel. Do you have a, like a wet towel? No, we just wanted to wipe the mic off. Oh, yeah, no, I don't have a paper towel. Oh, look, there you go. Look, 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 Zoe ready. She prepared. Is this on? Oh, all right, it's on. I got you. All right, I got you. Oh, you got it? Shit for y'all. I'm good. I already had. I'm safe. I got antibodies. Yeah. Just like a black woman to hold us up, man. <laughs> but for a good reason. Yeah, you're right. You're right. She's being responsible. <laughs> You, got, you go first, you won. No, you lost. You oh, I lost, I go first? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> all right, here we go. Something easy, I said, uh, all right, here we go. Zoe wears glasses, uh, but it's not because she can't see. She just wanted four hours because having the third one wasn't good enough. <laughs> And by gay, she means happy and not single. <laughs> all right, here we go. Uh, all right, here we go. Zoe and I met uh, her first night doing comedy. Uh, she watched me having a conversation with someone else, came up to me, and guessed my horoscope sign correctly based on the conversation, which was a great first impression. She showed me she was great at witchcraft and eavesdropping. <laughs> Okay. Um, Franklin Neblet and I both went to Catholic school growing up, but only one of us has the name of an overenthusiastic youth pastor at a Southern Baptist church. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, in high school, uh, Zoe was on melatonin, Prozac, bupropion, and trazodone. Uh, she was on more drugs than the white dudes who would try to fuck her. <laughs> Um, Frank's mom is just like R. Kelly in that she uses the church to explain everything and can't read. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Final joke. Final joke. Uh, despite being uh, Zoe's very uh, pro-black and despite being very pro-black, uh, Zoe's had a very colorful uh, dating life. Actually, I think the uh, correct term is colorless, actually. Uh, but uh, Zoe's known to have had more angry white men inside of her than the United States Capitol. <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> Uh, Frank is the next Eddie Murphy and that his voice is too loud, his teeth are too big, and he smells like leather. Come on. Wow. Um, that was fucking awesome, dude. I like that a lot. 
I'm gonna just get my vote out of the way quick so I don't hold this shit up. Um, I think Frank had, again, the best joke of the night with the Capitol building. That was funny. Uh, I think Zoe was more consistent, though. Frank, I wrote in my notes, Frank's still gay. I don't even know what that means. It was funny, though. Frank's mom can't read. I don't know if that's true, but it's funny. Um, and Eddie Murray, I don't even know if Frank has big teeth, but that was also funny. So I got to give it to Zoe, dog. One vote for Zoe. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, with Frank though for this one. So I th I think the the Capitol joke was so funny and the only time I laughed. Not that the other jokes weren't good, but oh no, that's okay. There you go. One one. So on Martin Luther King Day. As I stare at the ghost of Chris Cotton over your fucking shoulder, you know what I'm saying? Just hovering, you know what I'm saying? You know, I hate to have to make this decision, but whenever somebody say that somebody can't read, it just makes me laugh extra hard, you see what I'm saying? So I gotta give it to Zoe, cause she, she did a can't read joke. Give it up for Zoe, y'all. Hell yeah. Battle of the night so far, in my opinion. I don't even know if that's a thing, but I like that one a lot. That was awesome.